Go ahead, Alicia. That's great. Uh, do you have any details about the time frame and when people can actually start applying for this program? So, uh, don't have anything to share on the actual timeline uh, on this. Uh, we want to make sure, again, that our border is secure. We want to make sure that we're, we are, uh, we, uh, you know, we want to make sure that the immigration system is more fair, more just. Uh, don't have anything on the timeline. I'm, I'm sure DHS may have more on that specific uh, question that you have. And then just following up on Selena, given the yeah. amount of time it's going to take to process the applications, given the fact that it could all be undone if there's a new administration, am I hearing the reason why the president didn't do this sooner is because he thought Congress would do it? Is well, here, what I'm saying is that, um, as you know, we worked really hard to protect DACA. We put out a comprehensive immigration system. DACA was part of that. Uh, fixing what's happening and securing the border obviously was part of that. Uh, fixing a, a, an immigration policy that's been broken for decades obviously was part, part of that. That's why it was comprehensive. The president has been focused on this since day one and worked with Republicans and Democrats in the Senate to try to figure out how do we move forward with a policy that's fair and just. And we believe it is still the way to go is to do this through Congress, to do this in a legislative way. And so the president is always going to look, and you hear us say this often, the president's going to look for different ways uh, to move forward on dealing with this uh, broken system that we have. We're always going to find ways. We, two weeks ago, we made an announcement and, and he signed an EO on securing the border. We did that. But we've taken more, ac more actions than that before, go leading up to that EO. And today we're making this announcement uh, on protecting American families. So look, we would rather see Congress act that's what we want to see uh, and do it in a comprehensive way. They should, you know, take a look at the legislation that we uh, put forward on day one or go back to their bipartisan uh, proposal that they put forward. So there are ways to do this, and the president said he would always look at different options, and this is, this is one of them. How do you respond to Republicans who say this particular move is just an election year stunt? Look, I'm not here to talk about election year. That's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the president's policy and why he's doing this, because we have a broken immigration system. The president did this on his first day when he put forth a comprehensive immigration system. For about two months or so, uh, coming out of last year, going into early this year, the president worked his team, he directed his team to work with Congress on getting getting done a bipartisan uh, you know, proposal to deal with immigration, and we were able to do that. We were able to do that with Republicans and Democrats in the Senate, and Republicans rejected it. They rejected it because of what they were told by the former president. That's politics. That's putting partisan first, right? That's partisanship, that's politics, that is doing something on behalf of someone who is currently a candidate for 2024. We have been saying since day one, we wanna figure out how to fix this broken system.